Do you know the food that we eat cannot be directly used by our body? It has to be first broken down into simple substances. The process by which food is broken down into simple substances is called digestion. Different organs such as the mouth, teeth, stomach and intestines together make up the digestive system. Besides these, two other organs that play an important role in the process of digestion are the liver and pancreas. The process of digestion begins in the mouth itself. Digestion begins when we put food into our mouth. The food that we eat gets broken down by chewing. While chewing the food, the saliva present in our mouth mixes with the food. It makes the food soft and easy to swallow. As we swallow the food, it moves into a tube-like structure called a food pipe. No digestion takes place in the food pipe. It simply carries the food from mouth to the stomach. The stomach is a hollow bag made of muscles. It contains digestive juices which further break down the proteins present in food into a simpler form. Food remains in the stomach for about 4 hours. From the stomach, food goes into a long coiled tube called the small intestine. The juice is secreted by the small intestine and the special digestive juices produced by the liver and the pancreas break down the food further to complete the process of digestion. The digested food is now in the form of a liquid. It is absorbed into the blood through the walls of the small intestine. The blood then carries the digested food with the essential nutrients to all the cells in the body. Only the undigested food and water remain in the small intestine which then passes into the large intestine. Undigested food The walls of the large intestine absorb water from this. The remaining semi-solid waste is thrown out of the body through the anus.